we're going to be looking further into who we as individuals truly believe God to be. We have all sorts of people that come to join us for a gap year. Many different personalities, different skills. It doesn't matter whether you're super fit and love climbing up a wall or whether you prefer the bit more steady, kind of reflective, conversational stuff with our children and young people. No one comes with all the skills that they need to get through the year um, because that's part of our formation as a team is our growth and learning new skills and I myself was on the team at Solly House over 20 years ago now um, and I started as a very quiet, reserved um, young volunteer who um, was quite nervous of some of the work that we would do with larger groups but with the formation that we were given, I developed skills that I had no idea that I had. And I see that with our volunteers here now, that all of them had those moments of complete surprise when they've done something that they never thought they'd be able to do. And that is, that's a great moment to celebrate and a great opportunity for, for us as a team to grow, because then we offer even more to our young people and children we work with. I would have thought that they were crazy if they told me I was going to go into a youth ministry gap year. The Lord laughs at us when we make plans, so uh, <laughs> he's definitely laughing at me. There is no chance I would have believed them. I was just like messing around in class, having a laugh, annoying my teacher quite a lot. I think when I would have rocked up to retreat at year nine, my initiative would have been to muck around as much as possible and play up. Uh, and now it's my job to make sure people don't do that. When I told people at uni that I was going to be volunteering for a year with all the debt of university, they thought I was mental, but I've never known work to be so fulfilling. Welcome. Here's the team for today. Uh, are we all ready? Yeah. yeah. Good, solid, let's get going. So I work in an outdoor activity centre, so it is my role as a, a sort of activity leader just to accompany the young people um, through the different retreats that we take them on. Good morning. Good morning. We're leading climbing this morning. Yes. We're inside and I think it's just about to start raining, so we're quite lucky. And just seeing where God can work through these different activities with them. The centre also gives me space where I can put my teaching skills into practice, but rather in a more fun dynamic. We've got 92 girls. Yeah, it's a pretty big group, um, but they're all very excited and that's great. There are so many things to get excited about. You can get excited about sports or uh, music, but you can also get excited about your faith. And I'm just getting ready to give a little talk. Tell them a little bit about the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. And so being that person who's up there being like, yeah, this is cool. Um, I know a lot of people brought me closer to the faith because of how excited they were. And so I wanted to be that person for young people as well. Every day is like, you're laughing, you're smiling. Like, there isn't a day where I haven't smiled. Just the amount of fun that we're having and, like, celebrating faith with young people has kind of opens up a lot more doors than I really ever thought it could. That's inspiration, just go and do amazing, great things. I really, really believe in saying yes to God and letting Him surprise you. It speaks such volumes, I think, to have young people witnessing to other young people. Think for yourself on this one, really, because you will never regret it. It's a fantastic opportunity. It's a year with people you become so close to. There's so much more than just working with those young people. Goodbye, Holy Family! <laughs> it turned out even better than I ever expected it to. The young people make it so special. There isn't a specific word I can give you that will share the full experience, but it's just amazing. It really is like a counterculture lifestyle and it's an opportunity that you might not get again. Just do it. Don't be afraid. It doesn't matter what you might think you want to do in the future. We have 
plenty of volunteers that do go into working with young people in one way or another, but also the skills are transferable to use in many other walks of life. It gives you the skills to be able to share that during my year, this is what I did, and these are the skills that I now bring to whatever organisation it might be. And often those organisations are really grateful that um, you know, an employee's got quite a breadth of experience um, that they might not have had otherwise if they hadn't come on a mission opportunity to work here with us at Ken Elm.